as a diehard 49er fan for the past 11 years, this is my thoughts after a night of decompressing a heartbreak in the Super Bowl. For starters, I've been a fan for 11 years. I've watched pretty tough losses. Uh, the Super Bowl loss to the Ravens hurt. The first one against the Chiefs hurt. The NFC Championship against the Rams hurt. The Eagles one didn't hurt that much last year, just given the circumstances. But this this loss is definitely the hardest loss I've ever had to watch as a fan, just because we could have won this game. Our defense played great, outstanding. Um, one of the best def defensive performances I've seen from them. Holding Mahomes to, to three points in the first half, may I add, without Dre Greenlaw was massive. Um, but so did their defense. Their defense played extremely well. And I'll give credit to where credit's due. You know, picking off Mahomes there in the second quarter and you're around, you're around near the 50 and we end up on no points in that drive, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts a lot. You know, we our, our defense gave us an opportunity to score some points, and we didn't. Um, you know, when you lose a game like that, you could always look at, oh, this play, this play, this play, this play. Extra point. Moody's 60, he was 68 for 68 before. It got blocked. It happens. You know, it happens. Sure, it's a butterfly effect, but it happens. Same thing with the coin toss. I know there's a whole fussel going around about the Colwing toss saying how we should have uh, elected to defer. Again, it's just a media, it's just a media narrative um, trying to go around about Kyle Shanahan. At the end of the day, if we would have went down, scored a touchdown, and held the Chiefs and won the game, no one would be talking about the coin toss. Um, I heard Chris Jones say that if we were to score a touchdown, they would go for two if they scored a touchdown, and if we stop them on the two point conversion, we win the Super. It's just a media narrative. I'm not worried about that. I'll forever, you know, I'll back Kyle Shanahan. And I know he's been through some tough losses, but I love the guy. And he gets us, he gets us in the playoffs every year, it seems like. So, um, but losing Dre Greenlaw in the uh, second quarter was massive for us late game. Uh, I think not having him was very unfortunate. And the play, the one play, the one play that I can't get over is that punt. Is that is that punt um, where it hit off one of our one of our players and then Ray Ray wasn't able to um, jump on top of that because at that point we held Mahomes absolutely locked Mahomes down just like we did in the first Super Bowl until the fourth quarter the first Super Bowl he, he threw two picks and it was the fourth quarter woes and this Super Bowl he had six points and the reason why, you know, MVS got that touchdown was because they started the drive at the freaking 25 or 20 or whatever it was, 19, <clears throat> off of a special teams blunder. So when you have your best defense, one of your best defense players going out and that special team blunder, it hurts, it hurts. And I think we responded well, but um, it's just typical fashion to end like that. You know, I think uh, people can complain about Shanahan all, 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 all. You can complain about the guy all you want, how he doesn't get it done. But you know what? If you look at his Super Bowl losses, yeah, he's led in all three of those games. But they're also to Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady. The two guys who you people are saying are the best two quarterbacks of all time. And, you know, I'm in agreement of that as well. I'm not denying it, but I'm just saying that... You know, Kyle Shanahan's losing in these games, but he's losing to greatness, losing to the two greatest quarterbacks to ever step foot on the field, even though Mahomes didn't you know, you know, have a good game. But, you know, I think uh, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, it's just a sport at the end of the day. And as much as it hurts, you can only imagine how those players are feeling on the bright side. Um, I think Brock Purdy played decent, didn't play bad, didn't play good. Um, McCaffrey, baller. Brian Ayuk had some big plays. Juwan Jennings, I love the guy. He balled out. You know, players, people who aren't 49ers fans probably don't know who Juwan Jennings is. Juwan Jennings is that guy. He's third and Juwan. That guy comes clutch all the time. And he's a free agent. I have a hiccup, excuse me. He's a free agent. 
I do hope we just re-sign him. The good thing is that we don't have a lot of massive um, players entering free agency. The only couple ones that stick out to me is Juwan Jennings and Chase Young. Deshaun Gibson as well. But, I mean, we also have Jair Brown and, and Hufanga at, at safety. So, if Gibson walks, you know, I like him, but... You know, it's not like it's not like we're after we have big contracts to fill. Brent Ayuk may want a extension, you know, based off his all, all pro and you know same with Purdy, but that's a later issue. All it is is just you know, soak up the loss. It's life, and you know been through three Super Bowl losses, but you know there will come a time, and I'm speaking to all 49ers fans. It will there will come a time in our lives. We see one, and I'm talking about the people of my generation. It's been a long time, and it'll feel better than ever. But as of right now, it hurts, and you know I don't want to think about it. It's hard going on social media. Um, but uh, yeah, I love this team, and I'm proud to be a 49er fan. And I have hopes. I do have hopes for one day. Thanks for watching. And if you're a 49er fan, I love you.